Let's get onto the mouth once again. Oh, bit P for the pen tool. We'll draw out the basic shapes and then we'll have a look at this gradient shape once we finish the standard. So, make it easy. Trace along the image I've supplied. In the description of this video, I've got a reference image if you want to use it. If not, feel free to design on the fly. As mentioned earlier, I just find it easier to, to teach when I've got a reference image in front of me. Otherwise I'm guessing, I'm trying to make things up as I go along. So at least this way it's a little bit more structured. First part done. That's not good. Let's put a bit of shape into that. Once you've done a few of these, they become easier and easier. It's the same principles applied over and over again to do 3D shapes in 2D program. And it really is just looking at the light sources. See where light would naturally fall. But good fun. I also do 3D as well, so actually for my job I get to do a lot of 3D work. But I still find it a lot a lot of the stuff I do I find it a lot easier in 2D. Now I have made a little mistake there, but that's right. Now we've closed the shape, we can come into editing. We'll just give that a point. That point. Okay, we'll convert it to sharp, should I say, sorry. Then we'll drag these points out here. And we'll put that where it belongs, which is there. Alright. Give it a fill. There is a slight gradient in this mouthpiece. Yeah, I think we might try an elliptical. So G for the gradient, draw it out. Let's give it an elliptical fill because, well no, actually let's do it a little bit differently. Scrap that, go back to a solid fill. And then up in the insertion, click on insert, inside of the selection. This allows us to draw inside this section. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can either click this button, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna drag out this highlight. So we'll drag out like a, a light bluish highlight. Something like that. And then we'll give a Gaussian blur. Okay. If you wanna match, what we should do is probably Give that section the mouth a lighter colour and then this section will make dark. So there you go, there's just another way to, to get a nice gradient. Of course, if you don't select the insert tool, you can just draw, draw out your shape. Draw out your shape. Cut it and then hold the shape you want to paste into and on the keyboard, hit Control Alt and hold it down and then paste or control V and that will do the same. It's just a shortcut for insertion. Yeah. A couple of tips for you. Hopefully you find them helpful. Let me know in the comments if you already know this stuff and it's boring you to tears and we can uh, move at a faster pace. But I'm trying to cater for everyone that follows my course that follow my courses. Because some people are absolute beginners, others obviously seasons veterans they know what they're doing and they get quite frustrated been told a few times just to get on with it but unfortunately majority of people actually like the explaining it so let's let's start this gradient work what we might do these are all the different gradients on them, these sections so we can either draw all this section out as one 
and do gradients or we can draw it individually. What I think we might do, just for the ease of it, is draw them individually. So let's draw this part of the mouth, which is the, the outside of the mouth. Don't worry too much about the curves at the moment. We can adjust that once we've finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out this entire shape. There, anyway. So let's then come back on ourselves. Finish the other side. Oops. It happens. What I did back then is actually hit. I closed off the shape. Before I was ready, so let's just add a, a stay away from it for now and fix this up once we've got the initial shape out. So and go through. Anyone got suggestions on other tutorials they want to see as well? Um, more than happy to do them. Always good to have ideas from people watching videos. Sometimes it gets a bit boring trying to think things up. Think of new ideas and keep them topical or seasonal. So now you can see here we've got some weird thing going on. So. Worst case scenario, change it to sharp. Okay. It's a good time to go in and change our curves a little bit so we've got more, more shape to those teeth. Everything remains editable. Non destructive, good fun. Anyway, there's the initial teeth here. We have a look. So, between that and that, doesn't look too bad already. Now, what we've got to deal with is these different shapes. There's a couple of ways we can do that. Here's one way, which I'd probably try first. Drag out a square. Bring it to the front so we can actually see it. Put a gradient on it. And just try and match that gradient of one of those teeth. So for instance, this one here. What we're looking for is just a bit of shading. Try that one there. So it's subtle. Very subtle. Anyway, that sort of matches that, yeah? So that's that section. Now, if we cut that, and like I said before, we can hit the insertion or hit Control Alt and paste. When we paste this in, what we'll do is we'll right click to convert it to a shape to a curve, and that allows us just to control this shape here. And we might want to add a little bit more of a gradient to it. Give it just to give it a bit of texture. 
And we can we can duplicate that. So because that's already inside this shape here, if you control C, control V, we're gonna just go around. So for this section here, which is darker. So once again, Change this to or curves. All right, so we've got that basic shape in there. Now it's just a matter of copying the or duplicating those gradients. So I would go ahead. I'll probably won't bore you while I'm doing all these, but I will go ahead and replicate exactly what we're doing here for each one and changing the shapes as we go. And we can hit reverse. So, yeah, we can see how we're building those shapes up. So let's just go ahead. I'll skip, I'll fast forward through this part so you don't have to watch. So you can watch it, but I won't talk through it.
But anyway, that's uh, that's the final mouth, as you can see. So line that one up there. Line that one up there. Group them together. Bring it over. And there we have it. So a little bit more refinement to do. Bring it in closer so it actually lines up properly. So as you can see, we've got a bit of work to do to fade out this area or to make it a little bit darker. So our mouth stands out, but well, we're getting there.